Hey there, this is René Molenaar for GNS 3V and in this lab I'm going to show you how to solve the OSPF uh, Auto Cost Reference Bandwidth Lab. Um, okay, so in this topology um, I got plenty of routers and you can see that I have a couple of fast Ethernet links and there's also a couple of uh, gigabit links over here. Now by default, um, OSPF will use a 100 Mbit link, or fast Ethernet, as the reference bandwidth. Um, that means that if you have a fast Ethernet link, it will divide 100 Mbit, which is the reference bandwidth, uh, by the actual bandwidth of the interface, which is 100 Mbit, and you'll get a cost of 1. If it were a 10 Mbit link, you would divide 100 Mbit by 10 and you would get a cost of 10. Uh, now the funny part is if you have a gigabit link, then normally you would divide the reference bandwidth, 100 Mbit, by gigabit, which is 1000, and you would get uh, 0,1. 0.1. Um, but the thing is, OSPF doesn't go lower than a cost of 1. So if you have a gigabit link, it will get a cost of 1, and a fast Ethernet is also getting a cost of 1. That means that if you're using gigabit links, you need to change the auto cost reference bandwidth. So let me show you how to do this and what the difference will be. Um, Alright, so the first thing is that I'm going to configure OSPF, because I haven't done so yet. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is say router OSPF and I'm just going to use this command because it will enable OSPF on all of my interfaces and advertise all the networks. And in this lab I only care about having connectivity. There we go, one more. Okay, so it will take a little while before I got all of my neighbors, uh, but I think I can show you this. So let's do a show IP interface brief, and I see that I got one interface which is in shutdown, so let's fix it, now shut, let's check the other routers as well just to make sure these are all up. And these are all up. And these are all up. Okay. So what I want to show you, if you do a show IP interface brief, you can see that, that I have a couple of uh, gigabit links and you can see that I have a couple of fast Ethernet links. Now if I do show IP uh, OSPF interface, let's take a look at one of the fast Ethernet links. Then you can see over here that it has a cost of 1. But if you look at the gigabit link, so for example gigabit 1, you can see that it also has a cost of 1. So what we need to do is change the reference bandwidth. And we can do it like this. So go to your OSPF configuration, and then you do auto cost, reference bandwidth, and I'm going to set it to 1000 Mbit. So it says, okay, it has been changed, but please ensure that you uh, that it's consistent across all routers. So it's a good idea to copy and paste this to all routers. So here we go. I'll just copy and paste it to all of the routers. Now if I do a do show IP OSPF uh, gigabit, not sure which interface it was. There we go. Uh, okay, so what do we see? Still a cost of one for the gigabit interface. And if we look at the fast Ethernet link, 
So this interface. You can see that the cost for the fast internet link is now 10. So that's good. So now OSPF will make a difference between a gigabit link and a fast ethernet link. Um, so that's what I just did. So I didn't change the cost, but I changed the reference bandwidth. So now OSPF will make the best use of the gigabit links because they have a lower cost. And there's one more task that I have for you. It says in the future you will add some 10 gigabit links. So this is something to be aware of. Um, Oké, okay, so what do we have to do? You can see that the cost of gigabit is now 1, because the reference bandwidth is 1000 mbit. Uh, take 1000, divide it by 1000, and you get a cost of 1. But that means that OSPF will make no difference between gigabit and 10 gigabit. So if we're going to use 10 gigabit, we should change OSPF one more time. And set the outer cost reference bandwidth to 10,000. Let's copy and paste it to all of my routers. There we go. And I'll show you the cost one more time for the interfaces. So now you can see that a gigabit link gets a cost of 10. Fast Ethernet will have a cost of 100. That means that if I would have any uh, 10 gig links, they would get a cost of 1. Okay, so that's it. That's how you can change the auto cost reference bandwidth. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and till next time.